welcome back to another episode of The Sims 4 with my new LP, The Legends Dance Crew, his story. Um, and yeah, today we are visiting with the uh, gorgeous, uh, I mean gorgeous, Emilio Zamora, and this is his dance crew. He is the leader of this crew. And um, yeah, so they decided to come out to the bluffs today. Um, and guys, please, please, please just forgive my voice. I do think I'm coming down with the cold and it is kicking my you know what. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so they're out here today um, just kind of hanging out. It's actually almost nine o'clock. And I think, you know, um, from what I gather, the guys, they love to come out here at night to kind of hang out and, you know, just kind of. You know, kind of get the group together, you know, do some bonding and, and, and having some fun. So we're going to get right into gameplay. And um, everyone is just kind of talking about the girl who um, actually showed up at the dance club the other night. Now, she's not a typical dancer. Um, and so no one knows, you know, who she is. Um, and if you guys don't know, it's my other um, character from my other LP, and her name is Ella Johnston. Now, Ella Johnston um, is a beautiful Sim who um, just got out of the university, and she's living um, in uh, the countryside of Windenburg. And um, she actually um, snuck away from her group. And if you guys haven't saw that episode, um, I've got a lot of feedback that it was funny and it was really cool. Go and check it out. Um, it's on my other LP, Ella. Ella of Windenburg. And it's telling about her story. And so it's a really cute little twist. Um, and one of my... Um, one of my um, my uh, followers and uh, a real cool girl um, that I've been also following myself, she said that it reminded her of the West Side Story. And if you've not seen the West Side Story, I know it's an old movie, but I love old movies. And it's just about two rival gangs kind of um, kind of battling each other. And there's like two people that um, are in love with each other. And so it's sort of like that, except for they're not really battling each other because they're two different types of groups. But it's kind of really cool. So if you haven't seen her LP, I do suggest strongly that you follow her LP and you follow Emilio's LP to really get an idea of um, how this story is kind of playing out because they all kind of, it's kind of related in a way. Because um, it's her story and, of course, his story. Anyway, going on. So, Emilio here is just kind of taken back from her. He really thinks she was pretty. He thinks that she was cool. And he really liked her dance moves. And with her style, he just wasn't expecting it from her. She almost won the dance battle. So, you got to just see that episode. Anyway, his friends um, are pretty much like, um, man, dude, get over it. I mean, she was okay. But they're really kind of jealous because I don't really think they want anyone else in the dance club. Although they have, you know, the dance club is kind of, although they're, you know, acting as if everything is okay, it's sort of like an elephant in the room where they all are kind of like wanting to kind of um, dis. I don't want to call it um, leave the group, but they do want to start doing things um, on their own. They have a lot of other aspirations and what they want to do, but it seems like they don't want to hurt Emilio's feelings because Emilio is all in this. He's definitely all in this. Um, he's doing this especially primarily because he had a friend who um, who died, um, and that was a real cool friend, and he was actually the um, leader at the time. His name was Ramon. And so he's feeling like um, he has something to give back to his friend. Like he doesn't want the group to end because it reminds him so much of his friend. So he wants everyone to understand that. But, you know, everyone else has their own feelings and what they kind of want to do. You know, they have their own life to live. And so, you know, some of them are feeling like, hey, this is cool and all, but we're getting older and this is getting a little bit childish. So that's what this is kind of about. So, yeah, so they're right now, they are um, getting the bonfire going, which is super cool. And what's going on with these two? I've been noticing that they've been spending a lot of time chatting and hanging out without the group. And um, basically, this is um, this is Emilio's sister, and her name is Alana Zamora. 
And um, she's been kind of feeling um, our guy Vince. Like Vince is cool. Vince is actually um, the DJ uh, of the group. And he also can get out there and do some cool dance moves himself. But he's super cool. And, um, you know, he's trying to also kind of build his career um, as a DJ. And um, he's having fun with it. And uh, Miss, uh, Miss Alana here, you know, I think Alana is kind of like looking for love. You know, um, she's definitely, um, go ahead and slap him silly, why not? You know, she's like the, the baby sister of the crew, um, but she wants to be seen as older. And uh, everyone, oh my God, he just slapped, she just slapped him. <laughs> that was funny. Um, yeah, so she's the, um, she's like the baby of the family. And so everyone is just kind of like, like go sit down, you know, no one kind of takes her too seriously. But I think she kind of wants Vince to take her seriously. Like, I really think she's starting to like Vince. See? She's got the little woohoo sign up there. Like, I think she really is feeling him. So, we'll see what happens. Oh, he's giving her a hug. That's cute. But I don't know. I think Vince feels as if she's just as like a, a little sister or something like that. But nothing like anything romantic. But we do see that um the flirty interaction is definitely going on with them. So, we'll see what happens with this. So here's these, here these guys are out here at like 1 o'clock in the morning hanging out. Um, can he warm himself or does he need to do this again? So let's have everyone um, add fuel and we'll have everyone come by the fire. Um, I should have brought like a guitar out. Um, <laughs> look at him. He's like burning it up, baby. I should have brought the the um, La Bar out here. They could have been like having uh, drinks and stuff. Oh my God. I think he's getting the scratchies. I'm telling you, that looks so gross. He looks like a damn tiger. What happened, guy? All right, so he's going to definitely need to go back and get some medicine for that. What are these two doing? Hang out at the bonfire. Okay, here they come. Look, I love this interaction. This is so cool. Yeah, so um, everyone is just kind of chilling here. Um, They're going to be um, ooh, cozy up with. What is this? Let's see if he cozies up with her. Cause she's not afraid like you know your girl here oh she's like what no way i don't know maybe next time she'll want to cozy up hey i'll try it um fire dance what is that about what is she gonna do and i definitely oh that is so cool i love this look at that that is so cool so they're all hanging out and of course you know, they have work to do because they've been having issues with just trying to come up with new dance moves and everything. So when they get back, you know, everyone will kind of relax and, you know, do do what they need to do. And then they need to really start working on their dance moves because right now it is just not cutting it. And they know that they have some upcoming dance battles that they know are going to be you know, epic, and they want to make sure that they are letting everyone know that they are the crew and everyone needs to respect them. And this is what Emilio is letting the crew know now, that we really need to make sure that we are owning the dance club and owning the floor, and that's for real. So, guys, I think I'm going to have them end this here. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and uh, extinguish this right here. Uh, where is that? Hang out. Oh, okay, so it's already extinguishing itself. So what can we do out here? We're at the Bluffs. It's like 2.50 in the morning. I said the guys, they just take a quick dip um, in the water, and then they can just go ahead and uh, head on home because I know that it is, like, super dark out here. But what I love about this the most is that um, you can skinny dip in here. So it's it's kind of cool to bring, you know, you know, your, uh, your, your Sims here, uh, so that they can kind of come and hang out. And if you have like, um, a romantic interaction with someone, you could do that as well. So I think that's kind of cool. Very, very cool. So everyone's kind of running down to the bluff here. And, um, yeah, so this is cool. I didn't really know, but I can't wait to, um, play around with it, especially if I build a lot. I think this will be super cool. And so, of course, um, you got your guy, although he has the scratchies right now, Emilio, he's got to show off, right? He's definitely got to show off as usual. So he's showing off to the team. Uh, where are they at? 
Oh, they're all just hanging out over here. So I know you guys are probably wondering, so what is the story with um, our guy, Danny? Now, Danny is also super cool. Um, he's kind of like a, got like a New York flair to him. And um, Danny is like your guy that is like the romantic. So I'm like kind of, and I'm kind of wondering why he hasn't pushed up on Emilio's sister. Um, you got to be very sensitive to pushing up on his sister because, like, that's his girl and um, that's his baby sister, and he protects her. And so he's like, anyone that hurts her is definitely gonna have a problem with him. So you got to watch it. So whoever steps to her, you better come correct because he's not playing. So yeah. All right. So um. It looks like this girl has to pee, and I hope they have one of those bushes because she's going to potty on herself, and that will not look cool at all. So let's go have her go ahead and fertilize the bush over there. And what happened to what happened to our guy? Oh, Vince is there. I didn't see you over there, Vince. So yeah, they're like chilling out here. This is kind of odd, isn't it? Like I thought the pool is over here, but he's like. He's like over here. Isn't that weird? I don't know. I guess it has something to do with um, with the way that the game is set up. All right. So everyone is getting hungry and ready to go. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to head back to the house and um, kind of go from there. Let's see. So let's go. Um, will this let them travel home? Let me see. This is so cool. It's, I guess it's like you could call it like an ancient ruin type of thing. I think this over here will take them back home. Um, let's click on it here. Travel back home. All right. So everyone, yeah, we want everyone to go. So everyone is going to be going back home. Um, it's like five in the morning and I'm sure that someone has to go to work in the morning. If not, I have to kind of set them up for work um, to get everyone a job because no one can just sit around the house, right? So we'll get them into prospective careers. I don't know if they have um, a barista career track, but I definitely would like to follow one of them to work. That would be kind of cool. So we're going to travel home and I will meet you all back at the house. Bye. Okay, so the crew is back at the house, and as you can see, Vince was so freaking tired that he literally is sleeping out on the on the stones, logs, or whatever you want to call it. So he's out here sleeping near the bonfire, um, probably, you know, drunk out of his mind. And so he's here just chilling out, sleeping. We're going to let him be. Um, let's see. So everyone's back in the house in here. What's going on? It looks like they're getting, um, getting food made. Um, Someone needs to clean this stuff up. Oh, I won't have him. I woke Vince up to clean it up. How mean is that? Go ahead and clean that up, Vince. Um, and then we have Danny over here making the salad. Danny is, like, really cool. Like, I should have him the one, like, he's more or less, like, the one that does all the cooking, I think, for the group. Although you would think the sister would. I think he's going to be the one that does all the cooking. <laughs> Anyway, um, the little sister, she actually doesn't really supposed to even be here. It's like not even enough beds, like, but she still seems to find her, her way here. Um, she, cause she thinks her brother is like super cool and she's like, she's a bit of the tomboy. So you'll see that she's always like hanging out at the, at the dance crew, uh, at the clubhouse rather. And so, but no, but she's definitely not even supposed to be here. They're like, um, when are you going home? And so, um, you know what, Vince, go and get you some sleep. Vince is the only one I think that he will not have um, a job. Um, he will really be doing DJ work. I don't know if you can get paid from DJ work, but he definitely needs to start getting on those turntables to start making some money, some simoleons, if he can. We'll see. If he can make simoleons, then he can stay there. Um, but if not, um, he's going to have to move out. Um, not move out. What am I talking about? Not move out, but he's going to definitely have to... Um, He's definitely going to have to um, go ahead and get a regular job because he's definitely going to need to do that. So let's see. Um, what is she doing? Okay, so she, oh, I didn't notice that there. All right, so what is, um, okay, so I think that, yeah, he's sleeping right now. 
this is not even his bed so let's go ahead and have him claim the bed um and i love i i actually if you guys didn't know i actually redid um this room um oh he's so cool he's letting his sister sleep on his bed how nice is that what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna bring in um a blow up bed um so that someone can be able to crash when they need to so let's go into um build mode and um let's see here um doo -doo 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 -doo. i always like this i always like this right on here we'll keep it off for now um so okay so here's the blow up bed um can i put it like right here i think i can yeah we'll just put the blow up bed like right here why not um color it red and keep it pushing yeah so we'll put the blow up bed here so therefore when they have any um sims over you know whoever wants to kind of hang out and crash they can just kind of sleep on the blow up bed um so emilio um why don't you just go ahead and sleep over here since you're it is your sister so he'll sleep over there it looks like everyone is going to be going to work um and if you guys didn't know i did put danny into the um business career track um, and so everyone kind of teases him about that because they feel like, you know, what are you doing in business? Like Danny, what do you know about working in business? Um, so yeah, so he's in the business career track. Um, and, um, as of course, um, they have to go to work. He has to go to work in a little while. So he needs to get on this computer, um, Vince. So let him get on the computer. Um, where's the web, um, web. So he needs to go out and fill out reports and um he's gonna be super tired at work but who hasn't like felt super tired at work after a night of partying and hanging out with your friends and look vince he didn't yeah, fell over and went to sleep um what's going on upstairs so um yeah so she was supposed to start practicing on um oh man she was supposed to start doing um like guitar or doing some pri uh, practice with the music which i failed to do and she has to go to work in nine minutes so She's going to get a negative today because I think she's just too tired. She needs as much sleep as she can get. So we will worry about doing that later. Let's go ahead and let's get let's get her off to work. Um, Alana is currently at work. Her boss may not think well of her skipping work. Are you sure she should? What? I didn't leave. No, <laughs> I didn't think she was at work yet. <laughs> what is going on? So yeah, so Alana is off to work. Um, guys, I'm telling you, I keep I'm in love with this this dilapidated looking house. I love it so much. Um, so everyone's kind of going off. What 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 kind of job did I get for Vince? Oh right, I forgot. Vince is in the um, the uh, art career track. So he kind of goes around town um you know doing murals for people he's really good in the arts so i'm gonna have to really work on um getting his skill up why did he leave and come back can you tell me that did i do something um <laughs> that is weird um i kind of noticed that before so i'm hoping it's not like a glitch in the game um and this guy i know has to go to work too has he finished just filling out the reports I just don't want him going to work with nothing done. So let's go ahead and speed this up. And it looks like Vince is the only one that's going to get a lot of sleep today. That is so funny. Look at him like, huh? What? What happened? All right. So I love this. And look, it really literally looks like they live on the countryside. It is so freaking cool when you see outside of the house. All right, so it's going on almost 11 o'clock. Are you almost done? All right, so let's keep this pushing. I think he'll pass out before he can even get his work done. But I don't want him going to work without his work being done. So um, hopefully he doesn't get fired, guys, on his first day. I know, that is so bad to be late on the first day of work. All right, so um, this dude is off to work. Um, and so now... Um, our guy, Dan, our guy um, Vince, I always get them mixed up. He can spend some time um, 
on in his craft. But first, let's let him get something to eat on. Let's see. Sorry about that. I'm touching all kind of keys, touching all kind of keys around here. Um, all right, so let's let him let's have him make something to eat. And I still forgot a few things. Um, um, have brunch, uh, scrambled eggs. So I forgot a few things. I actually forgot to put in like a coffee maker and everything. Because with guys like this, you know they are going to want to um, eat a lot of quick meals. So I definitely have to add that to the game. Um, and then I also need to add um, a microwave and stuff like that. So microwave, coffee machine for those late nights um, where they want to kind of just like uh, throw something quick in the microwave or they want to um, eat just some cereal, I think, or oatmeal or whatever you need that for that. So I'll make sure I'll get that for him. But look at look at Vince getting his, his, um, his cooking skills. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, no, 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 move, move, move over here, go here, go here, go here, go here, no, don't have him die, don't have him die, no, go here, oh my gosh, I forgot to add a fire extinguisher, oh my god, oh my god, guys, I hope he does not die, I will be mortified, no, no, um, office prank. Um, Daddy reaches into his desk drawer to get his uh, stapler, only to discover that someone has encased it in jelly. Will Danny retaliate? Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What can we do? I forgot to put a damn ex fire extinguisher in here. And I think Danny is going to die. Go here. Go there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Go here. Oh my. Is he gonna is it gonna get out? Oh my. Oh my gosh. That was a close call. Oh no! He's dying. Oh no. Oh man. Oh my gosh, this is a sad episode. Oh my gosh. Vince. No, not Vince. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Oh, this was so unexpected. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, I know everyone is going to be devastated. Especially Emilio, because this is how his first friend died. His first friend died um, in a terrible accident like this. This is terrible. I feel so bad. Oh wow. This is so terrible, guys. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for them. Oh my. This is crazy. I'm going to have to have... Um, let's have um, the guys leave work early to kind of come and... Um, oh, this is so sad. Very, very sad. Leave work early. Um, yes. He's got to leave work. His, his, his buddy is, is, has died. Um, and their lights have gotten cut off. What could be worse? Like, Vince is supposed to pay the, the, the light bill. Oh, my gosh. This is terrible. This is so bad. Very bad. Um, the neighbors heard the smoke and the fire going on and the fire... And, and so they called. They called the. Um, they called Emilio and the rest of the crew as soon as they could to come home and, um, you know, try and see if they could get their friend out of the fire. This is super duper sad. And their lights got cut off. So it's just like they have so much to to, to take care of. Um, leave work early. Yes, they have to leave work early. Their friend is just perished. Um, leave work early. 
This was so unexpected. I cannot believe this. Yeah, this is crazy. And this fire is like spreading. This is crazy. Where is everyone? Look at them. They are like really mortified. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I'm so sorry for you guys. Oh, my gosh. Let's see if, um, let's see if, um, maybe they can talk him out of it. He's there, um, fire. Let's see, can they talk to him? Oh, this is terrible. Where is Alana? Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Yes, girl, do not go in there. Come out. Leave out right now. Get out. Get out right now. Let's see. Leave, leave, leave out. Leave out right here. Go here. Go here. Go here right now. Oh, my God. I feel so bad for her. I know she doesn't want to leave him in there, but you've got to come out right now. Oh, my. This is terrible. And the fire is spreading, and it's nothing they can do. This is so sad. This is so sad. They are in just a state of panic. A state of panic. Um, this is terrible. This is terrible. Let me see what's going on. Has the fire subsided or is it just still spreading in the house? It's finally over. Oh no, it's still spreading all around. This is terrible. They've got to go in to extinguish it. Emilio, you've got to go in there. Emilio is a little bit apprehensive, guys, because his, his good friend died in a fire. And so he is, like, really apprehensive about going in there. But if he doesn't go in there, they're going to have more damage to the, to the clubhouse. So he needs to go in there to put this fire out. I wish they could just kick this Grim Reaper's you know what but we're gonna stay calm I'm gonna have them go in there and really try to get this fire put out um, while I'm gonna have to see if Alana can um, try and you know do something to get him to 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 help you know to bring their friend back to life because um, this fire is bad and Danny um, Danny was the one that's, that is literally being kick-ass and getting this fire put out um, you know, Emilio, I know, feels embarrassed because he is not helping to put this fire out. He is still standing outside, scared to do so. Oh, wow, this fire is really spreading. Oh, my gosh, this is terrible. Oh, my gosh. I know you feel bad, Emilio, but you have to help your dance crew. You have to do something. Let's have him go back in and let's see what we can do. You have to you have to be strong for your for your family, for the crew. Um, let's see, let's see if we can This fire is really spreading. I've never seen a fire in the Sims be this bad. This is freaking terrible. Um, let's see, can we get Danny to go back in and extinguish some more? So we're gonna have him go back in. This fire needs to be put out. It needs to be put out. All right, so the fire was finally put out, and it was over $4,000 in damage. And here, you know, their friend lies on the ground dead. Um, more events. This is terrible. This is super terrible. Um, this is very bad. Um, this was unexpected very unexpected and um i don't know what to say like i'm i'm gonna just um end this episode i'm upset right now because that was my sim and um when i play this game i do feel for the sims and so it was so unexpected like i mean when you play this game um you don't know it really can feel like real life things happen and you just don't know um so everyone is just around here morning vents um and trying to just kind of put everything together as to what happened to vents you know so um i'm going to end it now um and um i will see you in next episode
This was episode two. I was planning for so much, but doesn't seem like it's gonna happen tonight. If you if you all want to, please check me out on Mommy's Play 2. And I will see you all later.